guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on this look. So I really wanted to create a nice blown out, smoky, orangey toned makeup look today. And I incorporated the pop of blue in the waterline, which I absolutely love. It just adds a really sort of nice playful element to the whole look. And I was really inspired to do this makeup look because when I put on that video a couple of weeks ago showing you guys my top favorite makeup geek eyeshadows, one of my friends actually texted me and she said that she really loved these sort of orangey toned eyeshadows and the yellow toned eyeshadows and she wondered how you would incorporate all them into a makeup look. So it kind of inspired me to do this video today because I really want to show you how you can make orange and yellow toned eyeshadows a lot more wearable and again you don't have to incorporate the blue if you didn't want to, you can totally skip that and just leave the lash line bare or you could have a black eyeliner in the waterline just to really intensify it and make it more dramatic. But I absolutely love the way this turns out and it's just really nice for spring and summer and just quite a nice colourful playful look. So guys I have been asked if I wanted to participate in balloon this year which is vlogging throughout the whole month of June so that's every single day and I have got quite a few nice things planned in June as well. I'm actually going on holiday to Greece and I have a few other things here and there as well so it's not going to be a completely boring vlog. So if you guys are interested in seeing me vlogging a little bit more into my personal life then let me know in the comments below if you want to see those videos because again I only want to put those videos up if you guys are going to be interested in watching them. So also guys if you're not already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to click the link right here and it will notify you of all of my upcoming videos and if you want to come and follow me on all of my social media I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter um, I will leave my link right here on the screen if you want to come and check me out and follow me but again I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see how I got this really nice colourful playful orange and blue eyeshadow look that was a bit of a mouthful then please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm going to be priming my face. I am going to be doing my face before my eyes today just because I want to create a really nice sort of blown out smoky eye and I don't want to have the harsh line that we would have if we cleaned up with sellotape. So I'm just going to be going in with these two primers. This one is the Too Faced Hangover X Primer and then this one is the Smashbox Primer Water. So I'm just going to be putting this on first and then putting this on afterwards. So now once the skin is primed, I'm going to be moving on to foundation and this one is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. So I'm just going to be using that and then blending it in with my Nancy foundation brush. So I like quite a full coverage with this foundation, so that's why I sort of go a bit crazy with it. <laughs> but you guys can sheer it out if you want to. It is a very full coverage foundation anyway, but yeah, I like to apply quite a bit just so I get a really nice flawless base. So this foundation is really good for people with dry skin because it is super hydrating and a cream based formula. any concealer on or finish off the rest of my face I am going to be moving on to my eyes so I'm just going to be taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and priming my eyelids with this so now I'm just going to be taking a little bit of Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean and I'm just going to be setting that primer into place just to make sure we've got no creases going on around the eyelid so now it takes me absolutely ages to do my eyebrows so I'm just going to be going off camera and filling them in and then I'll be right back. So now the eyebrows are on, I'm going to be going in with a transitional shade and this one is by Makeup Geek in the colour Peach Smoothie. So now I'm just going to be taking this colour here called Chickadee and I'm just going to be putting that into the crease as well and really warming that up. So I'm not going to be putting it over the peach smoothie, I'm going to be putting it directly under and more precise into the crease. And again, by not having that tape on the outer corner, you can sort of flick it out at the end and make it really nice and blown out. Because I don't want to add too much precision to this look, I just want it to be really nice and smoky and again really blown out. So now I'm going to be going in with the colour Morocco, this is also by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be focusing this on the outer V of the eye. And again I'm going to be keeping it quite compact into that crease and then really blending it out. So I'm also going to add a little bit of this colour to the inner corner of the eye as well. So I'm also going to be connecting the two in the crease. 
And don't worry if it starts to look a bit messy or it's not completely blended out because we will be going in and blending it in a moment. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the shade Chickadee again and I'm just going to be going over the shade Morocco just so we can sort of mute it down slightly and really blend it through. So now with a pencil brush I'm just going to be going in with a shade here called Coco Bear and I'm just going to be putting that into the crease as well and again I'm going to be doing exactly the same process as we did with the Morocco shade but I'm not going to be covering up any of that orange I'm just going to add a little bit more darkness to the look and make it a little bit more dramatic. So now again just picking up the colour Chickadee and I'm going to blend all of those colours in together. I feel like I've got a massive colour clash going on today because I've got orange on the eyes, pink on the nails and blue jumper. <laughs> so now I'm just going to be spraying a little bit of Fix Plus onto this brush to make it really nice and wet. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to be taking this MAC eyeshadow in the colour Copper Ring and I'm just going to be putting this into the middle part of the lid. And by wetting that brush, you can see the colour payoff is really, really intense. So you're going to get that really nice and vibrant part in the middle. So I'm just going to be sort of blending it through when we get to the inner part of the lid and also the outer part of the lid, just so it marries in with those colours that we put there earlier. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of Makeup Geek's uh, Cocoa Bear through the crease just to really intensify it and also just to make sure that there's no harsh lines from that copper ring shade. So now I'm just going to be lining my lash line with a little bit of the Stila All Day Liquid Liner and I'm not going to be doing a wing or anything because again I want to keep it really nice and soft and blown out but I'm just going to be prepping the sort of lash line before we apply false eyelashes. So now I'm just going to be adding a coat of mascara and some false eyelashes. So the mascara that I'm using today is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the lashes are from Ardell and these are the Demi ones. So now moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector first and then I'm going to be moving on to the MAC Prep and Prime in the colour Light Boost. So I'm also going to be highlighting with this as well. and then blending it out with my Beauty Blender. So now I'm just going to be baking that concealer into place, taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So now to set the rest of my face bake up, I don't want to take away any of the sort of natural glow that we've got going on. So I just want to use a tiny, tiny little bit of this Too Faced Pressed and Poreless Translucent Powder. So again, I'm just going to be taking a really small amount and just dabbing it on the areas where I tend to get the most oily. So I just want to set them, but then keeping the rest of my face nice and dewy. I hate that word, dewy. So now I'm going to contour my face with a little bit of the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. So I like to use this little duo fibre brush that I've picked up from MAC. I actually don't know the number of it because the number's rubbed off. Um, but if I find it, I'll link it below. But it's really, really good for creating a really nice natural soft contour to the face. So I like to use this mainly on my forehead and around my jawline. And then for my cheekbones and also the side of my nose, I like to use my NARS Eater brush. Just because it's more compact. So because we've got a lot of orange going on on the face today, I want to keep within that theme. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of the MAC Give Me Sun and I'm actually going to be using this as a blusher today. So I'm just going to be putting this onto the apples of the cheek and then blending it through. And that way it's going to create a really sort of nice bronzy look and it's going to tie all the colours in together. So now for highlighter, I'm going to be taking this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the Glow Clip in the Gleam version, and I'm going to be taking a little bit of Crushed Pearl and also Mimosa, and I'm just going to be mixing them two together to create a really sort of nice highlighted look. 
I'm going to be going in with the mimosa shade first, which is that sort of really nice bronzy one. And I'm going to be highlighting the top of my cheekbones. So now with the colour Crushed Pearl, I'm just going to be taking that and putting that on the top part of the cheekbones, just to really make that highlighter more intense. I'm also going to add a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow. So now to complete the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this MAC Copper Ring shade again, and I'm going to be buffing this quite far down onto the lower lash line. So now taking a little bit of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, I'm also going to be buffing that onto the lower part of the lash line but keeping it on the outer part of the eye. So now I'm just going to be taking a little bit of Makeup Geek's Corrupt and with a flat definer brush I'm just going to be pushing that up against the lower lash line as well. So now I'm just going to be taking this blue coal eyeliner from Bourjois. This is the metallic eyeliner. I'm just going to be tight lining with this. So now moving on to a lipstick, I'm going to be taking this one by Saturated Colour. This is in the colour Birthday Suit and this is their liquid vinyl lip gloss, I think it is. And it smells amazing. So I did get this sent to me by Saturated Colour. So if you are watching this video, thank you very much for sending it to me. And I absolutely love the shade. I think this is going to match the eye colour perfectly. So I did swatch this earlier and as you can tell, it's super, super pigmented, like from just one swipe you get loads and loads of colour payoff and it's really nice and creamy and glossy. So I'm just going to be putting this all over the lips. So guys, that completes this makeup look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by clicking the link right here. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.